Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a luxury fashion accessories haul. This is a cumulative haul over the past several months, and I think some of you may know Samantha March here on YouTube. She just moved here to Las Vegas, and we had such a great time the other day shopping, and if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow Samantha on Instagram, we both posted stories, we both posted some things on our TikTok about our fun shopping days. So I wanted to show you what I got on that shopping trip. I've also done some other <laughs> purchases uh, before then. So why don't we go ahead and get started with uh, the smallest bag over here from Hermes. So I did a little unboxing of what I purchased and I'll flash that up here right now. Um, but Samantha wanted to stop into Hermes because there were a pair of sandals that she really wanted. I don't know the actual name of them, but they're the really beautiful iconic Hermes sandals. The flats with like the, looks kind of like an H over the toes and it's a slide. And I don't think they had her size. Anyway, we ended, of course, ended up looking around the store. And I actually saw this piece of jewelry uh, in a different color, in more of a bronze color, and I fell in love with it. But the Hermes bracelets, at least most of them, as far as I know, come in two sizes, and the smaller size was far too small for my wrist. So they only had the small size in the bronze bracelet. So I asked the sales associate if they had it in other colors, and she said, oh yeah, lots. So she pulled out like a blue, a red, there was a yellow. I mean, a lot of fun colors, but of course, of course, I fell in love with the all black. So this is an aluminum bracelet and it is all black. I mean, I think you see this like orange ring around here. And I thought that was actually part of the bracelet. And I thought that was so cool. I was like, oh wow, like an Hermes orange like accent. And <laughs> the sales associate was like, no, no, that's just to kind of protect the um, bracelet because this is just coated aluminum. So this does come off. So it's almost like a little rubber band and it just slides right off like one of those rubber bands that you wore when you had braces anyway that just slides right off it just is meant to protect the bracelet from this little moving part here but i've always loved this like dog collar uh, style of theirs and i just of course i just fell in love with the all black i just think it's so cool looking so of course you just sort of slide it on and the larger size this size for me uh, fits. So they have the dimensions and all the specifics for the bracelets on their site. And I used to wear cuff bracelets all the time, but when I started, you know, when we all, I guess, started working on computers so much, it was kind of annoying because they would like clank <laughs> on the keyboard a lot, but I just, I couldn't resist this one. So that is what I picked up at Hermes. I just, I love it so much. Next, we wanted to stop by Dior and I wanted to stop by Dior specifically because I had seen pictures on Instagram for their new, I believe it's pre-fall collection, but they came out with a leopard print and the leopard print is actually classic to Dior. When I spoke to the sales associate at Dior, what I didn't realize was Back in the 60s, I believe Dior came out with the leopard print and they actually had it trademarked for Dior. So I love animal print. And it was so great to hear that story because I don't necessarily associate Dior with leopard print, um, but apparently they were pioneers in animal print. So I, I had a really hard time kind of figuring out what it is that I wanted to purchase. So let me go ahead and flash the unboxing of what it is that I bought but they have um, like a Lady Dior bag in a medium size. I believe they have a large and a mini book tote. They have like an anorak, like poncho uh, style top. They have some hat, they have some shoes. And what I had seen online were a pair of dad sandals. And I love dad sandals. I know, not the most sophisticated footwear, but they're just comfortable. I know I'm gonna wear them a lot and I just love them. I love the style. That is what I picked up from Dior, a pair of leopard print dad sandals. I could not resist. And I saw these online on Instagram. And when I went into store, they were not out on display. So I just simply asked the associate there and I just figured maybe they were coming in a later shipment. And she was like, we haven't even gotten a chance to put them out on the floor. People have been just coming <laughs> from all over wanting these leopard print dad sandals. Um, so I tried on a size 39, which is the size that I normally wear, uh, but they were a little bit too big. So they do run a little bit large if for whatever reason you're buying them online or kind of buying them over the phone through your Dior associate, they do run a little bit large. So I did end up getting the size 38 and a half. So just a little bit larger. So here is the sandal. 
it has Dior in gold on one of the straps here, and both of these straps are Velcro. This ankle strap is stationary. There's no adjustability there. It has a nice cushy bottom, so I'm so happy to have scored these. And this is a fabric. I don't know if it's silk, but it almost feels like a silk. It's almost like an interior decor kind of fabric. It's just really, really cool. I love it, and it has gold hardware. So I'm so excited that I have these. I can't wait to start wearing them. I did want to haul them for you guys before I got them all nasty with my feet. So those are the Dior Leopard print dad sandals. All right, next up from Chanel. So my sales associate over at Chanel, she knows that I've been looking for a neutral color bag, um, you know, something like cream colored or caramel colored or cognac colored, like anything in that kind of family. And also I had purchased the medium trendy when I really wanted the small trendy. So if you guys follow me on TikTok, this is not a surprise to you because I did an unboxing on TikTok. So I'm not gonna be flashing the unboxing here. If you wanna see an unboxing, <laughs> it's on TikTok. But I ended up getting a small trendy in this beautiful beige color. I have no idea actually what season this is from because I took out the like the card the little tag that has all the information I threw it into the box that this came in with all the tissue paper and then I threw out all the tissue paper and I think I threw out the tag with it all I just looked everywhere and I could not find it so I don't know what season this is from but you know the trendies are one of their classic shapes and the only thing that changes is basically the colors that they use but this is lambskin and i swore when i purchased that medium trendy in the black lambskin with the larger um, diamond quilting that i was never going to get another chanel lambskin bag and i just i just couldn't resist this because i love this beige color from chanel i think it's perfectly neutral they have a lot of beiges that have a little bit of like a gray kind of yellow to them um, and then they have some beiges that obviously are a lot warmer. This one I find it kind of falls right in the middle. And I liked how light it was because of the, you know, upcoming like spring summer season. And I want, I was kind of looking for like a lighter colored bag and she texted me at the perfect time. So I'm sure you guys have seen this handbag a gazillion times, but it's the small trendy. Um, it does have leather interior and oh, my, my little wallets in here. It does have leather interior. It does have three pockets in here. There are some inside pockets here for like cards and your phone. And then there is on the back here, like a zippered pocket. Um, and then around the back, there is like the exterior pocket here. I don't know if it's this color. I don't know if this particular lambskin is treated in any way, but this lambskin does not seem quite as delicate as my black medium trendy. I don't know why I've been using this pretty much nonstop and I don't feel like it could be the color, but I don't feel like I see any scratches or anything. It just seems to be a lot more durable and I'm just, I'm not exactly sure why, but I am loving, loving this bag. It has the Chanel plaque on the top and then it does have this strap, which you can wear the bag crossbody. It's a little bit short on me and I'm 5'5", five five, but I do have like a longer torso. So as a crossbody, I think so long as you're not, you know, very tall, I think it will work for you. But otherwise, it's just a great top handle bag. And I'm so excited. I finally got my hands on a small trendy. This may be my favorite Chanel bag. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about doing like my Chanel bag collection video, just kind of talking about the pros and cons of all the styles um, because I've been using all of them quite a bit at this point. Um, if you are interested in a video like that, please let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to do that. I'll probably do it anyway, just because when I make a video, I feel like I learn about things myself as I'm talking through them. So anyway, I've just been loving, loving, loving this bag. I really thought that maybe it was going to be a little bit too small because it does have the leather interior. It's a little bit less flexible than the Chanel bags that have a cloth interior, but it's perfect. Perfect for my phone, my wallet, sunglasses, floss, which I have to carry with me now, a lip gloss. It's really perfect for just like a day bag. It's wonderful. So this is the Chanel bag that I purchased. All right, and last but not least, I purchased something from Prada and this is a gigantic bag. I promise you, what I purchased is not nearly as big <laughs> As, as this shopping bag. Um, but it's so big that I couldn't find the right place to like set it down and do an unboxing uh, because of like the point of view. So I'm just gonna, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to hold it up, but let's, let's try and do a little live unboxing here. So here's the shopping bag. Now that I've brought it 
forward, you can see how big it is. Let's take this ribbon off. Now this um, Prada item, I also saw on Instagram. I need to stay off Instagram, I think is the moral of this video. Let me put this down on the ground. Okay, here's the box. I mean, this is obnoxiously large. So I did get a bag and it does come with um, a dust bag. And here is the nylon backpack that I purchased. So it does come in black with like the white drawing writing print on it, or it comes with the white and the black. But again, because I've just been in this like spring summer mode and we're finally kind of getting out, doing things again, I've been looking for lighter colored bags. And I thought at first that I wanted the black version because I just wear a lot of black, um, but I also have a lot of black. And this is graphic enough that I feel like I could wear with all of my black and it would be a nice pop of like a clean, uh, fresh white color, but I just think this is so cool. I just fell in love with this printing on it And then there is like the white on white Prada triangle logo there and from this collection on all of the nylon that Prada is using for their pieces are 100% recycled. So I thought that was really really cool I don't know if you guys have been on the Selfridges site, but maybe a month or so ago, they had like a spotlight on Prada and all of their like recycling efforts. And it was really interesting. And I think there's probably some information on the Prada site if you wanna take a look. So it just flips open and there's basically like one big cavity in here, but there is also like a large pocket in here. It's almost perfect for like an iPad. It's like that size. There is also a zipper pocket here uh, if you wanna secure some things, um, but that is the Prada backpack that I got. I just love this. And if you guys watched my um, luxury handbag tag that my friend Kat here on YouTube started, I'll link her channel down below um, and that video. But I talk about like the oldest bag that I have and my most used bag and blah, blah, blah. The oldest luxury handbag that I have is a Prada tote that I purchased 26 years ago. It's a black nylon tote with like gold chains. So any Prada nylon bag for me is just always nostalgic always. So that's it for this luxury fashion accessories haul. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comment section if you want a Chanel handbag collection video where I kind of talk about all of the silhouettes that I have and like the pros and cons of each and which one I use the most. Blah, blah, blah. Let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.